So students, the next topic is the acceptance angle. So what do you mean by acceptance angle? It is the maximum angle to the fiber axis at which the light may enter the fiber axis in order to get propagated. So in order to get the light propagated, the light ray may enter the fiber axis. Okay, so this is the acceptance angle. So now you are going to study about the derivation of the acceptance angle. So first take a fiber. So this is the fiber. The in the next topic we are going to study about the structure of the fiber. Then you will understand clearly. So the center portion in the fiber it is known as the core. And surrounding the core there is a cladding. Okay. So it is mentioned here core with a refractive index N1 and cladding with refractive index N2. Okay, so it is the center axis. So now, when the light ray is dimmed on the center axis, okay, what happens? So it gets refracted. When the light ray is done, the light gets refracted. Okay, so when light gets refracted, so internal reflection will occur, correct? Okay, so now the total internal reflection is occur here. So, in this manner, the light will travel along the optical fiber. Okay, the light travels along the optical fiber. So, this is the acceptance cone in which the light rays enter the fiber. Okay, so when the angle phi increases, the light rays enters inside the, when this angle phi increases, the light ray enters inside the core. When this phi angle, angle that phi decreases, what happens? The light falls outside the core. So now, if you are decreasing the angle, what happens? So you are decreasing the angle, definitely the signal will be lost. Because you are decreasing this angle. When you decrease this angle, what happens? The signal will be lost. Okay, the signal will be lost and it radiated outside the fiber and it radiated outside the fiber so now so now join this so this is theta 1 and this is the signal lost this phi and this is theta 2 okay so now next you can go for the derivation so according to Snell's law what is Snell's law you know n1 sine phi 1 is equal to n2 sine phi 2 okay so here this medium is the air and the refractive index of the air is N0. So here you can write according to Snell's law. According to Snell's law, what is the value? N0 sine theta 1. So here the refractive index is N0 and the angle is theta 1. Okay. So N0 sine theta 1 is equal to what is the value? N1 sine theta theta 2. Okay. N0 sin theta 1 is equal to N1. This N1 sin theta 2. So, so the refractive index of the air. So, do you, in air, the angle is theta 1. So, this is the acceptance angle. Okay. And in core, the refractive index is N1 and the angle is theta 2. Okay. That is the instant, sorry, refractive re, angle of refraction. So according to Snell's law, N0 sin theta 1 is equal to N1 sin theta 2. That is, N0 is the refractive index of the air. And in air, there is acceptance angle that is theta 1. And the refractive index of the core is N1. And inside the core, there is a refractive ray that is theta 2. So we, according to Snell's law, we write this equation. Okay. N0 sin theta 1 is equal to N1 sin theta 2. So now, from the figure, see the figure, see this portion. That is, it is in Z size, correct? Okay. So, it is in the form of the Z. That is, here the angle theta 2 and here the angle phi. So, now this angle and these two angles will be equal. So, this is also theta 2 and this is also theta 2. Okay. So, now from figure you can write 
theta 2 this is theta okay theta 2 theta 2 is equal to what is the value pi by 2 that is 90 degree minus pi this angle is equal to so this is the critical angle 90 degree minus this pi value you know critical angle value is 90 degree so theta 2 is equal to 90 minus pi so theta 2 is equal to 90 minus pi so now substitute this take this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so now substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so what happened n0 sin theta 1 is equal to n1 sin what is the value of theta 2 pi by 2 minus phi that is 90 minus pi what is sin 90 minus pi cos pi okay n0 sin theta 1 is equal to what is the value n1 cos phi okay so according to mathematical trigonometric representation sin squared phi plus cos squared phi is equal to 1. So, what is the value of cos squared phi is equal to 1 minus sin squared phi. So, the value of cos phi is equal to root of 1 minus sin squared phi. Okay. So, take this as equation number 3 and this is equation number 4. Okay. And now substitute these values. So, it become n naught sin theta 1 is equal to n 1 in the place of cos phi that is substitute equation 4 in equation 3 okay so n1 what is the value cos phi cos phi so the value of cos phi is root of 1 minus sin square phi okay root of 1 minus sin square phi so for critical angle already we have studied this derivation correct what is the critical angle derivation the critical angle derivation is sin of critical angle equal to n2 by n1 correct n2 by n1 so now take this as equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 so now substitute this value in this equation so take this as the critical angle 5c so now substitute equation 6 in equation 5 okay in equation 5 so now what is the value n0 sin theta 1 is equal to n1 root of 1 minus n2 squared by n1 squared. Okay. n2 squared by n1 squared. That is root of 1 minus n2 by n1 the whole squared. So, can you understand? So, next n0 sin theta 1 is equal to root of. So, now when you take the LCM, what happens? n1 squared minus n2 squared by n1 squared. So, now when this n1 squared come out of the equation, it become n1. Root of n1 squared minus n2 squared. So, these two values get cancelled. So, n0 sin theta 1 is equal to root of n1 squared minus n2 squared. So, this equation can be represented as it is a numerical aperture equation. So, it can be written as numerical aperture equation. So, for yeah, what is the refractive index there for yeah, the refractive index n not equal to 1. So, now it becomes sin theta 1 is equal to that is the numerical aperture equal to root of n1 squared minus n2 squared. Okay, root of n1 squared minus n2 squared. So, this is for numerical aperture. Then for acceptance angle and write for acceptance angle. acceptance angle theta 1 is equal to sin inverse of numerical aperture because theta 1 is the acceptance angle. So, now the acceptance angle is equal to sin inverse of numerical aperture. So, what is the value of numerical aperture? Numerical aperture value is n1 squared minus n2 squared. Okay. So, what is the definition of numerical aperture? It is used to describe the light gathering or light collecting ability. Okay. So, the how much of the light is gathering or how much the fiber collect the light. So, that is the numerical aperture. So, now we can modify the numerical aperture equation. That is, we have derived that numerical aperture in terms of the acceptance angle is numerical aperture equal to sin theta a. What is the value? Root of n1 squared minus n2 squared. So, now you can write a squared minus b squared is a plus b 
into a minus b. So here the index difference value is del n is equal to n1 minus n2. So now it can be written as n1 plus n2 into del n. Okay. So when n1 is approximately equal to n2, what happened? This n1 plus n1. Okay. So it becomes 2n1 into del n. Okay. So it is one formula of numerical aperture. So numerical aperture it is one form of the formula for the numerical aperture. So another one formula is numerical aperture, you know, in terms of the acceptance angle sin theta a, that is root of n1 minus square minus n2 square. So now you can separate this with a plus b into a minus b formula. So what is the relative refractive index formula is del is equal to n1 minus n1 minus n2 by n1. Okay, n1 minus n2 by n1. So from this cross multiply. So del n1 is equal to n1 minus n2. So now substitute this value in this equation. In the place of n1 minus n2, you can substitute del n1. Okay, so n1 plus n2 into del n1. So here also when n1 is approximately equal to n2, what happened? It become 2n1 del n1. Okay, so it can be rewrite as numerical aperture equal to sin theta a is equal to root of 2n1 square del. Okay, so the formula for numerical aperture in terms of acceptance angle is sin theta a and in terms of relative refractive index is n1 into root of 2 del and in terms of the index difference is root of 2n1 del n. Okay, root of 2n1 del 1. Del n. So, these are the different formulas for numerical aperture which may be used in the problems. Okay, so you must remember these formulas in terms of index difference, in terms of acceptance angle and in terms of the, sorry, this is in terms of the relative refractive index, it is in terms of the index difference. Del n. Okay, thank you.